there's no denying this is a team led by a rookie quarterback that was well coached and well put together last night in Detroit. And when you have that play to start the game, as ill-fated as it ended up being, it shows you the confidence that they have in him, and we're anxious to talk to him. That'll be the first question out of the box. You know, pick six to start a career. But when you put that play together, you're saying, oh, we believe in this guy. We don't think it's all going to be about one play. That if he throws a pick, you will recover from it. If he ends up hitting it, he will go for a score, and we're going to show everybody how aggressive we are. In a year, Michael, where maybe you're right, he's going to have to win games to save his job, Todd Bowles. That he's not going to let a rookie quarterback uh, dumb his team down and be conservative. So I, I, the first call didn't work, but when you look at the way things went, it tells me this is the quarterback they've wanted from the get-go. Going into last season, this is the quarterback they want. They got the quarterback, and they're going to play with them. They're, they're, they're ready to go out there with their shiny new car and gun it. Oh, no, that's exciting. Sorry, Michael. One thing I just want to say, early props, too, because we're going to talk about Sam Darnold all day long uh, and, and Todd Bowles. i got to give some props to Quincy Inunua, who not only played a great game, but if he doesn't hold on to that catch on the second drive on that big third down that led to them getting into the end zone, um, instead maybe they settle for a field goal there. That was a moment where right away, it, it was a great play by Darnold, too. He got himself out of trouble, scrambles, finds a noon wall, almost drops it, holds on to it. They review it. They decide it was a catch. By the way, separate conversation, everything's a catch in 2018. But that... Early on, early on, that's something that gives Darnold a bit of confidence to get things going. And, and also, the, the pick six, I, I kind of put that on the coaching staff because if you watched halftime yesterday, Steve Young said, in Pee Wee, I was taught you don't roll right and throw left. No. You just don't. And that's exactly what fast. the play called for because there's too much time for the defense to, to correct itself. And, and they almost... They almost, like, said, all right, throw it, throw it, throw it. They urged him to throw it, and then they picked it off. I don't blame that on Darnold. I think that was a bad play call. I yeah, but was he like supposed to call. go? He wasn't supposed to go there with it, was yeah, he? Yeah, that, that was where the play now, was. Listen, if you looked at the overhead, if, he, if he's able to hit the receiver, it goes for big yards. It's just that he's a young kid. He panicked. He should have just thrown it away. But did he scramble too far right or something? Like, did he roll too far right? He just threw a duck. It was just a bad play. But what I like about it, I, and maybe I feel this way because they ended up winning the game 48-17, to 17, but it just tells me that they're not going to treat this kid with, with kid gloves, that they believe in their guy. And all right, when one play doesn't work, we've got 59 minutes to get it right. And you know what? With a young quarterback, again, youngest quarterback in the, in the history of the Super Bowl era in a, an opening game, the play, I thought, was to hand the ball off just to let him get his feet wet. But they, they called this funky play where he rolls out and throws across the field. So they do have belief in this kid. And then after that pick six, he was 16 of 20. He did everything right. He's, 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 he's solid. He's that sort of guy that, that has a great head on his shoulders, that doesn't get nervous, that was almost like, it seems like he's been bred for this. It's... I mean, he just has such a way about him. Other people might have lost their whole act. Did you see? It took maybe, I swear... The pick six happens, and I go, oh, my God, uh, how many times has this ever happened? Of course, everyone talks about Brett Favre, who threw a pick against the Redskins in his first appearance ever so in Atlanta. So did Winston. And so did Winston. Yeah. So, like, you know, when does this happen? Don, it must have been five minutes. Five minutes later, I, I watch him. He's made a few completions. It's gone. You knew he didn't remember anymore. And, in well, fact, he settled in right. and was like, oh, I, this is the speed of this game? I'm not saying I mastered it. But I got this. He seemed very comfortable. And the Jets had to know that going in, that we've got a guy that's going to make his mistakes. He's a rookie. There's going to be a defense he's not going to be able to figure out. But the one thing is he can get punched in the mouth and take it. And that's the best thing because you're going to make mistakes. You're going to have days. Hey, listen, I don't think the Lions are a very good team, but Stafford's a good quarterback. He threw four interceptions. I mean, there's going to be well, days. The defense. You know, Roethlisberger looked awful on Sunday, right, against Cleveland. You know, three turnovers. But how do you recover from those turnovers? Do you, do you put your tail between your legs and say, okay, it's not my day, or do you fight through it? And what do you go, three for, uh, four for four on third down, and he's converting? And that, if, if the Jets knew that, then that play makes a little bit more sense then, right? They had exactly two play calls I hated. The third and one is the other one? Oh, <laughs> oh, that, the reverse third and one. We have the, to ask balls about that. That, was, that. that play was nonsense. And then the opener. The, that was, uh, 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 well, I appreciate the confidence they mm -hmm. had in him. Coming out of the gate and throwing the ball across the field in the NFL, well, you don't quite yet understand yeah, it. I, I don't mind much. a pass at that point, but that's kind of a funky oh, play I, to call. I'd rather air it out all the way down, throw a bomb right. to Robbie Anderson rather right. than do what they well, did. But besides that, a well-called game by the Jets. Well, what that tells you is, is that if Bowles is coaching for his job, Human nature is going to be to be conservative, let's just win the game, 
But hey, he's he's being aggressive. Uh, he's not he, he's not worried about mistakes. He believes he's got a guy that's going to recover from it. So again, it's just one game, but it's a hey, month, something about Monday night nationally televised games. Just as a fan, me of the Giants, you of the Redskins. Oh, they're disastrous. You, you just but you remember oh, them. Oh yeah. I mean, this is not like like some Sunday in Week 12. Oh, remember when we beat the Lions 48-17? Hey, Andrew, do you it's remember opening night on Monday? And, and the whole world saw it. Yeah. Andrew, do you remember when the Eagles threw up a thousand spot on the Redskins in five minutes? Let me guess, you remember it well. <laughs> like it, you don't forget those things. Like when it, it's it's a huge moment for this team.